So via recent news, it seems that Kanye is either married, engaged, or something like it. Whatever it is, but he, he got him a new boo. She looked just like him, but there's been no paperwork filed yet. So is he like trying to be married without being married? You know what I'm saying? On some genius type stuff. But, but really, I mean, still, is it genius though? Because you had a prenup with Kim and she still got you for all them 200000 for them kids. So I'm just saying, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but I'm going to play some of them so you can. Kardashian is posting a cryptic message amid rumors that ex-husband Kanye West is remarried. After being spotted in Beverly Hills rocking a wedding ring, TMZ reports on January 13th that Kanye and Yeezy architectural designer Bianca Sensory recently held a ceremony to honor their new relationship, although they have yet to file a marriage certificate to make it legal. And see, this is where I ask, is Ye trying to be an innovator like he normally do and get married without getting married? to basically keep the state out of your business. You know what I'm saying? E! News reached out to Kanye's team and to Bianca for comment, but did not hear back. However, according to TMZ, Bianca has worked with the rapper's brand for years. And last month, Kanye even released a song containing her last name in its title, Sensory Overload. On it, he raps, The Bible said I can't have any more sex till marriage. Well, either way, Kim seems unbothered and steady on her grind. Taking to her Instagram story on January 12th, the Skims founder shared, I'm really in my quiet girl era. I don't have much to say, just much to do. And shout out to the beautiful and black lovely T for bringing this story to me. But see, sometimes we can take these innovative conversations to the next level for no reason, because this could just very well be a rebound case of Kanye trying to just get his rebound on. He either went and got somebody that looked just like his wife, or either he trying to dial her up to look just like his ex-wife. And it looks like it could be a ploy just to get under Kim's skin, which Kim is probably like, I mean, hey, do you, do you. But this leads me to the conversation of a couple of things right here. First of all, can you get married without getting married, right? Because for a lot of people that are, you know, Christians or Muslims and this, that, and other, it's about the sanctification of the marriage under God. So if you're doing that, God and state don't really, you know, <laughs> go hand in hand. So, it's, I mean, like, you go to the state to solidify the marriage in the eyes of the, of the state, but what did the state do besides come in and rip all your assets up when you go and get divorced and give them to the woman? So you might be better off having a marriage without having a marriage. You understand what I'm saying? Having a marriage, because they say they had a ceremony, and but it's it's not really legal in the eyes of the state you're not really married to them so coming out on the back end you would save a lot of money if something went wrong but like i say that still don't mean nothing when it comes to them kids because kanye if you're in there pumping and dumping you're in there pumping going raw you, you, you're in for the nice surprise because she gonna hit you for fifty thousand just a kid just like him did she might hit you for 70 by the time the 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 the, the, the clock then wind it forward so you, you can't get around the child support so know that because him and Kim had a had a prenup, but the prenup ain't what got him. Them kids got him. 50000 a kid. Waka, 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 waka. 50000 a kid. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's kind of, it could be kind of a genius rule, but it, 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 if you still, if you still have kids with the girl, it don't, it don't matter. You know what I'm saying? But then too, it's like, what, what, what's up with this whole rebound relationship thing that we do? Right? We let it. You let her have a relationship to and Kim playing this goofy game too. She seems like she 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 making statements like she unbothered and you know, da da da. I'm just I got so much to do. Okay, fine. But you know, Pete Davidson, come on. Come on, Kim. That was nothing but to make Kanye wanna just you know what I'm saying? Like you gonna take the scruffy dude with no money when you were married to a billionaire and let him smash and dance and just paint your funky little box all over the intro net and just let everybody know you just, you know what I'm saying? But Kanye doing the same thing with this chick. She, she's broken than Pete Davidson and he taking this Instagram model S type of chick and trying to make Kim jealous with like, you know, whatever. So we all would know that that was a, a kind of jealousy play Mixed with the fact that you've been in a marriage, you want to get out here and have some fun. It was mixed with the two. But it's sad when we have to play these games as couples or or dating, people that are dating, trying to 
make something happen because some some people are more invested than others and then others are not as invested as you and then so when it goes south people feel the need to have to play the tit for tat game like they, they didn't treat me like I thought I should be treated so I'm going to get back at them for whatever type of way I was feeling while I was in that relationship. I'm going to get back at them. I'm going to pull the Kim and go date Pete Davidson and then not Kanye like, I'm telling you, this whole time he wanted his wife back, this, that, and another, but it ain't going to happen. Ain't going to happen. She done. She checked out. So now he like, oh, well, let me go. Let me go get something just like it. He get, and, and and we can see Kanye got a, got a type, don't we? I keep telling y'all Kanye is very uh, focused on white privilege or whatever you want to say the the, the, the ethnicity is or wherever she's from. I don't know where she's from, but the the skin is lighter than ours. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to just say, it shows. And this this did go back to the argument where we talk about, can you be pro-black and date white? And to me, it just don't match. It don't match. Because it, it it shows you where your loyalties lie in the end of everything. In the end of everything, your loyalties are going to lie with that lighter-skinned side of the game. And I ain't got no problem with the lighter-skinned side of the game. I love y'all. Hopefully, y'all love me. <laughs> Probably don't. But I'm just, <laughs> shut up. I'm just, I'm just playing with y'all. But look, I'm just saying, Kanye seems to be one of those that... that if he doesn't get the attention that he is seeking from white folks, he he can't stand it. it we, we saw him when he was chasing after Trump. It, it just looked bad. It looked, he t- probably told Trump he loved him like three, four times. And Trump was just like, hey, <laughs> cool it, buddy. <laughs> it, just, it just looks, it looks bad. And, it's, and it looks like every time he gets to a point where he starts talking about issues that black folks are going through or facing or dealing with. And and it seems like he is for black folk to um, climb up out of this hole that we are in and to try to get on evil playing ground and to then even prosper. It seems like he always goes back in his bag and has to double down to get white validation or he's not satisfied. The Why Lives Matter t-shirt. It, it, it just, you know what I'm saying? It's, 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 it's that validation mixed with um, the stirring up of, of stuff. Because he knows how to stir the pot to get everybody talking about him, to get everybody buying his merch and this, that, and that. He, know, he knows how to do that well. So it's a mix of the two. But it still lets me know. I mean, you can see his type. It ain't nothing wrong. If that's your type, the Kim Kardashian lizard. You know, you know, don't, don't, don't slide that past your boy, okay? Because Kim, you know, is juicy. It's juicy, Kim. You know what I'm saying? But I, well, what I'm saying, though, is that as I have grown, I do see that even though the juiciness of a Kim Kardashian or a sensory or whoever this woman is or whatever fat booty white woman that you can find that I would love to partake in, I have seen the benefit in saying, let me not be so frivolous with who I'm connecting with. And I've seen the benefit of being even more extra with that and saying, you know what, let me be intentional about my black women. Like, why is it that I can't have pride in wanting a black woman, whether she chocolate, caramel, butter, pecan, whatever shade she is. But why can't we as black men adore and look upon our black women like they are the prize? And I get it. Sometimes, you know, you get your preference, you this, that, and other. You've been around black folk, black women all your life. So, used to that. So when you get outside of something, you see a Brazilian woman or Asian woman or, you know what I'm saying, Colombian woman or a Puerto Rican woman, it, you know, they got the silky hair. It, look, it looks great. I can understand that. But I also can understand 
them African booties too, because you go over to Ghana and they just got, oh my God, they just, you ain't never seen no hips like this. You ain't never seen no hips like this. Hips, tips, finger lips, all, all that. You know what I'm saying? In, in America, I'm talking, you know, we talking about everybody. It, it, we got queens right here in America that look just like us that is worthy of dating if they got their mind right. Not only worthy of dating, but worthy of marriage if they got their mind right. You know what I'm saying? But we got to search through them instead of just all the time jumping to the other side of the fence and thinking that everything grass is green on the other side of the fence or the white man's ice is cold. You know, you know, the, you know the sayings. But I'm just saying, hey, this is your boy P. Kemp. Tell me what you think, what you don't think about Kanye. Is this move genius? Is this move not? As far as doing the marriage or not marriage thing, I don't, I don't know what you're doing right now. But tell me what you think about it. It's your boy P. Kemp here signing off. Let me know what you think.